cozy bookworms i hope you are doing really well i'm sorry if my uh, like i'm sniffly a little bit i ended up kind of getting a cold after spending pretty much two days for a few hours each day shoveling snow we ended up having a snowstorm that went through two days and we got a lot of snow and i had to shovel it all with just a shovel we don't have an electric shovel or any electric snow plow or anything so that was a lot of snow i had to move with just me and my body and a shovel and it was a wonderful time it was quite cold outside a lot of snow but it was done um, and it was kind of nice as well because I didn't go anywhere I just stayed home I did some work I ended up reading a little bit and I did a lot of journaling at that time as well so it was just really nice and then during the snowstorm I actually got mail which is very strange to get mail in a snowstorm because our mailman usually just never comes, however, he must have been behind or something. And I ended up getting quite a bit of book mail, whether it was some books that I ordered myself, I also got some books sent to me, and I also received the December YA The Bookish Box uh, subscription box, which I'm excited to show you since I'm a rep for them. But before we get into that, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Also make sure to check out my Instagram page, A Sip of Cozy. That is where I post all of my bookish content as well as a lot of my bookish unboxings, so definitely check me out there. So now with that, let's get into this mini book haul. So the first book that was sent to me is A Thousand Steps Into Night by Tracy Chi. Thank you to the publisher as well as the Storygram Tour for sending me this book. I am part of the tour for this book, so definitely make sure to check out my Instagram during March 14th. That is my tour stop and you'll be able to learn more about this book. But in general, this book is about a young woman who ends up becoming cursed and she becomes a monster and there are this world is where monsters and demons live among the humans and this young girl is cursed and she sets off on an adventure and teams up with misfits and everything to cure her curse. However, along the way she finds freedom in her curse and she wonders if it would be worth to cure herself or would it be better to live with this curse as she feels like she's finally free from the burdens that she's lived in her previous life as a human. So I'm very excited about reading this one. It is on my top list. It's going to be released March 1st, I believe. So definitely make sure to check out this book and give it a pre-order. This book is one that I end up buying from Barnes & Noble. I ended up going with a really good friend of mine and we always go book shopping and go to a cafe and talk about books and just talk about everything and it's always so wonderful. And the book I ended up leaving with from the bookstore is Under the Whispering Door by T.J. Klune. If you don't know, T.J. Klune is one of my favorite authors. I absolutely love The Extraordinaries. I loved his Green Creek series. All of his books are absolutely amazing. They're LGBT positive, they're sex positive, they're queer positive, they're representation positive. I love his books and so I'm very excited about reading Under the Whispering Door. This follows a man that ends up dying and going into the afterlife and he kind of has seven days to live a life that he didn't live before, before he has to pass on from the, the cafe shop, which is kind of the in-between world between life and death. It is named the Chiron Crossing, which is really interesting because obviously if you know Greek mythology, Chiron is the uh, guide into the afterlife in Greek mythology. Then the next two are manga, two mangas of which I'm very excited about reading and they are volume one and volume two of The Seaside Stranger. This follows a young man who is kicked out of his home and sent to live with his aunt because he comes out to his parents and it's a really tragic story of, um, of a coming out situation. However, he ends up meeting and falling in love with a, another young boy. However, that young boy also leaves um, leaves him and moves away and comes back three years later as an adult and it's this young man feeling if he can fall in love or not yet um, as well as like you know getting over this feeling of abandonment. I'm very excited about reading these volumes. They're absolutely gorgeous. I've heard only good things about them. I've already kind of like skimmed the pages and the art style is absolutely stunning. And then the next book is a another manga. It is volume 11 of Hirajime, My Hero. I've talked about this in my February TBR video, so definitely check it out there. I'm trying to read volumes 8, 9, and 10 to get to volume 11. I'm very excited about this. If you don't know what it's about, definitely check out my 
February TBR video, I explain Hirajime, my hero, there. And I love this, I think, is one of my favorite covers. I love this idea of them going to the aquarium. It's beautiful. The art style is very unique and beautiful. Highly recommend Hirajima, My Hero. Then the next book is Heaven's Official Blessing, Volume 2. Oh my god, if you have not watched Heaven's Official Blessing, the anime on Netflix, I highly recommend it. Finally, we're also given the translations. This is a Chinese, um, oh gosh, I don't remember the Chinese word for it, but this is a Chinese um, male love story and it follows a prince who ascends into heaven multiple times and he goes through many adventures and ends up meeting a demon prince and ends up falling in love with him and so it kind of goes through his story of life and death and it's absolutely amazing. It is not like a manga style, it is written in regular novel format, however it does have um, illustrations in it which I'm very excited about reading. Then the next book is one that I think is flying across booktube, it's flying across the bookstagram atmosphere, it is just everywhere right now and it's a book that I am not yet picking up but it was already pre-ordered and I am excited to read it at some point in this near future and that is House of Sky and Breath. This is the second book in the Crescent City series by Sarah J Maas. I'm just realizing I haven't been saying the authors to the books. That's a problem, but you know, we're gonna go with it. I, I tend to forget something when I do videos. But anyways, yes, I ended up picking up the second book to the Crescent City series. I did read the first book, uh, but anyways, I ended up did, I did end up picking it up. I do have an entire review on Goodreads about the first book. I was not a fan of the first book, I'm gonna admit it, I didn't like it. I think I ended up giving it a three stars, there's a lot of issues that I found with the book. However, I do still want to continue this series at some point. It's here. I have it now. It is a honker of a book. So those are the books that were either sent to me in the beginning of February and or the books that I ended up buying at some point from the end of January to the beginning of February and actually throughout February. I've bought quite a few books throughout February, some of which haven't arrived yet, but we're not going to acknowledge that, acknowledge that. I'm a book hoarder. It's what I do. It's what I do best. Anyways, let's get into the next part of the video and that is the unboxing of the December YA The Bookish Box. If you don't know, The Bookish Box is a box that is created for readers and it contains a new release, it contains bookish merch, it contains bookish t-shirts, it's a very exciting. You can choose between a YA box or you can choose between an adult box. And if you would like to save a little bit on your first subscription, use my code COZY, C-O-Z-Y, at your next checkout to be able to save on your first subscription. So with that being said, let's get into the unboxing, so I'm very excited. I've already technically opened the box because it was massive and it was kind of spilling out in my driveway, so I needed to like relieve the pressure for some of it, but I'm very excited anyways. I did a reel on my Instagram, in, on my Instagram page, so if you want to check out that reel, I will leave the link somewhere around here. So the first thing that we have here, and this is what I've already looked through because I really wanted to already know what was in the box before I told you guys. This is the Bookish Box kind of newsletter. It gives you the spoiler. It gives you the exclusive editions that are going to be coming out soon. It gives you the adult December box, what that was, and it also gives you the next month's box. So let's get into the box. So the first item, I already know what it is because I've been snooping around, and this is a From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. A. Armentrout blanket. This is something that most people in my family know and friends know. I am a blanket hoarder. I own a lot of blankets, and the bookish box just kind of added to that collection. And so here we have a From Blood and Ash blanket. It's quite, it is quite a nice size for you to guys to curl up with and I believe it says you will bow before your queen or you will bleed before her and I'm just like that that that's a quote. The next item we have here is a Rattle of the Stars pop socket and I have never owned a pop socket before. It says Rattle of the Stars. This is from Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss, so very exciting. And then every month the Bookish Box has an exclusive candle that is also 
has a, an exclusive design and this month's candle is Erin Warner from the Shatter Me series. It also has um, a matching bookmark so every month you also get a matching bookmark to your candle. And the next item is a uh, always has the potential to be dangerous. Um, it is a more powerful weapon than any sword or spell and this is a sticker I believe. And the sticker is from the Sorcery of Thorns so that's what it is. It's the Sorcerer of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Then the next item we have here is a Manon art print. So they do art prints every month. This one is inspired by, once again, the Throne of Glass. So there's a Manon art print. Very exciting. I actually really like this one. I use these and I ended up putting it on a wall somewhere. So I'll end up putting it on my art print wall. And then every month they also, if, if you get the subscription that includes the t-shirt, you will get a t-shirt that's in your size. And this was this month, December's month design. And it says, as long as there is life, there is hope. And this is from an ember in the ashes and they design t-shirts every single month. Then we have the book that is always put in this lovely green package. We open it up. And this month's book is Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross. And what I love about this book so much is that it has sprayed edges. And when you open up the book, it is also signed by the author. It has custom end pages. And when I pull that off, you have this absolutely stun stunning hardcover design, which is absolutely beautiful. You have the front that says The Deceiver, and you have the back that says The Magician. And then you have this gorgeous spine, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Another thing about this book is that it does have these custom, oh, there it is. It has custom end pages that is artwork that is always designed in the book. And they also have one at the back of the book as well, which is absolutely stunning. And then the other thing about the bookish box is that they always do reversible dust jackets, which is always amazing and this was the dreams lie beneath reversible dust jacket that is the book for december the synopsis for the book if you would like to know says the realm of azanor has been cursed every new moon magic flows from the nearby mountain and brings nightmares to life only magicians who serve as territory wardens stand between people and their worst dreams clementine madigan is ready to follow in her father's footsteps as the warden of Hareswith even though she yearns to study the wilder magic side of magic. Instead, she must record townspeople's nightmares so she and her father are prepared for the danger of the new moon. When her father's domain is challenged by two magicians, Clementine is drawn into a century-old conflict. She seeks revenge on one of the brothers who dueled with her father, but as she gets closer to the handsome young magician, secrets begin to rise. And Clementine, once keen on vengeance, must unite with her rival and face the realm's curse, which seems to be haunting her every turn. From acclaimed author Rebecca Ross comes a rich and nuanced story with vengeance, family, and captivating power of dreams. Very, very exciting. I'm very excited about this book. It's absolutely gorgeous. So if you guys haven't ever tried the Bookish Box, I highly recommend it. Like I said, they have a wide subscription and an adult subscription. You also can get a plain subscription without a t-shirt or you can add in the t-shirt subscription, which is always lovely if you guys like t-shirts with bookish quotes, bookish designs. It's very fun. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this this lovely unboxing and this book haul. Let me know if there's any bookish releases that you're excited about or any books that you have bought in lately that you are really on your anticipated to read list. I know that I have quite a few books that I'm very excited to be reading now that I have them. So definitely leave your comments below. Also make sure once again to like, comment, and subscribe to get more videos like this. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!